Hey guys, this is Sheriff and uh, welcome to the college route. In today's video we're going to talk about how to avoid screwing up your freshman year of college because it can go badly very easily. I'm not gonna waste your time so let's just start with the very first thing. Stay healthy. Stay healthy. Try to stay healthy, especially in your first semester because you have so many things going on that it gets confusing and it you feel a lot of stress, especially the first month or the first semester really. You might not think about your health at all, mental health and physical health, because there are many things that are going on that you think it's an afterthought. The food that you are eating is an afterthought. Uh, exercising is something that you might not think about in your first month or first semester. I would say keep that in your mind. I made the mistake of not caring about my health for the first semester. I ended up gaining about 10 kilograms of, of, of fat, yes, of fat. And uh, it was horrible. Uh, thankfully, I did go back to exercising. Now I think I'm at the optimal weight, not to brag. <laughs> okay, no, this, that was not good. How should I say it? I, I didn't realize I was really unhealthy. This is your reminder, all right? Care about your health. Keep it as a priority. Because nothing matters without health. The second tip I'm gonna give you is use your free time. Especially, uh, you might feel stressed, yes, and you have many things going on in the first couple of weeks or months, but academically you won't have as much as high school. You won't have as much as high school in terms of assignments, homework. It, it, it just feels like you have a lot of free time to do other things. But please use it carefully because just because it's free time doesn't mean that college is easy that or that you need to study less than in high school. I didn't study in high school uh, except for 12th grade, but for college it's not the same. If you don't study, it's an F. It's an app. So you do need to study, even if you passed in high school or in school without studying. The third tip I'm gonna give you is don't wait until the deadline. It's, it's, this one, it feels like it's related to the second one, but it's not about achieving high grades only. It's also about planning, planning your semester or month or whatever you want to call it. It's about planning it perfectly or balanced. Obviously it's not gonna be perfect but keeping it balanced where even if next week you have final exams you'll still have enough free time to play sports or to exercise or to do something else with your life, to take a break while studying, which if you leave all the, your assignments and homework to the last few days or last day, then in those days you won't be able to do anything and you'll feel stressed, so it's not good for your mental health, for your physical health, and you won't be able to do your hobbies uh, as you would want to. My last tip on how to not screw up your freshman year of college is to study for your exams. It, or to realize that exams are hard, are going to be hard. When I, for the first three weeks in college, I thought it was super easy, much easier than high school actually. But I realized that it's not the case when I took my first exam of calculus. So this is a warning for you that the exams are going to be harder than high school. Now this is all the tips that I have for you. I didn't want to make this video long, I want it to be straight to the point. If you like this video, you can subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in another video. Peace.